Hello everyone, now we'll talk about AWS Load Balancer or Elastic Load Balancer. Load Balancer is a services provided by AWS wherein it helps us as a traffic manager and a health check for stuff and also a load balancer as the name says while working on infrastructure as a service cluster or as an application cluster or as a platform as a service cluster. So for example, if you give a scenario that there is a cluster with three nodes working to provide services to one single client. Now the thing is the single client has to manually ping one of the node at one single point of time. Now, If that node crashes, there would be a single point of failure. To avoid that, we have a cluster. That means if that node crashes, we have another node, then another node. But it's really tough for a client to understand or to realize the name of all three different servers. So that's why we have we need to place a middle man in between who talks on behalf of the client with the node and responds on behalf of the node to the client. So that middle man is act also as a DNS resol resolver, which is known as load balancer. So load balancer in another term is known as traffic manager in AWS language. It manages the incoming traffic and selects from which node the output needs to be given. So right now we would be proceeding when working on load balancer. We would be creating two instances, two EC2 instances and converting them into web servers. Web servers means we can access through website. We can access websites hosted on the server through the browser. And we would be configuring a load balancer for the node, two different nodes. So just click on launch instances. Next, add storage, add tags. This is going to be node one. Configure security group. Since I said I'm going to convert into a web server, we would be using HTTP protocol and HTTPS protocol, internet and intranet both. We would be converting them into anywhere and anywhere review and launch launch selecting the same key pair launch instances to convert this server into a web server it's important that we run set of linux commands and create an html file for it so to connect to the server we would be copying the public ip address opening putty which is the terminal for connecting to the remote boxes we are browsing the ppk file pushing it for authentication and just a second before we launch just ensure that it's running yes the server is running so open it ec2 hyphen user now with EC2 hyphen user, we cannot proceed and do any activity. We have to become a root user. That is why we'll run the command sudo su. To make the server into a web server, we need to install a package httpd yum install. We'll be using to installing the package. Other methodology is rpm. Yes, we have to install this. Now we need to start the services service httpd start now we'll go to the location where the binaries have been created that is slash var slash www slash html this is the location where we need to host our website since it's not a website creation demonstration rather a web hosting demonstration will just be creating a sample HTML file index dot HTML let's copy an HTML code uh, 